So you hit a weak slice to the right. What do you do? Do you aim a little bit more left? And what happens? You slice it even more and further to the right. All right, the way to fix a slice is not by aiming more left. It's actually by listening to this video because I'm going to show you how to once and for all fix that slice and start hitting a nice high draw. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction here at US Golf TV. And I hate to say this, but golf instructors, we make a living on fixing the slice because it's the most common shot that most golfers out there face. And quite honestly, it's why you clicked on this video and why you're here. So I'm gonna give you three things, three simple things that you can do, two of them in your setup, one of them actually in your swing that can eliminate that slice once and for all. So let's dive right into it. I've got a six iron to teach you this right here and we're gonna definitely make some progress on your game here today. So the first thing that we gotta do is we've gotta set our body up in a position that allows us to hit the draw. Now most slices, okay, almost all of them, come from the fact that the golf club is traveling in a motion where it's going out and across the golf ball with an open club face. Let me just hit one just because you've probably seen this shot, but I'm just gonna hit it. So what you watch, the club's gonna go out, across, and the club face is gonna be open. Here we go. All right, I wouldn't call that solid, all right? But it definitely was working to the right and was kind of weak. So the first thing we gotta do to change that is we gotta create a position in the setup that promotes more of an inside angle coming into the golf ball. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lead arm and you're gonna raise your lead arm a little bit. So notice how my lead arm is high and my trail arm, which is my right arm, is low. So lead arm, I even raise the handle a little bit. Kind of like that. I'm gonna give you another tip here at the end, a bonus tip with the handle. Don't let me forget. I'll give you the bonus tip here on the handle. All right, so I'm gonna raise that a little bit, okay? and the lead arm, excuse me, the trail arm comes under. Now let me go ahead and hit a shot. Notice the difference between this setup versus that. Drastically different. So here we go, lead arm high, trail arm a little low. That sets me more from the inside. Okay, that was better already. Definitely higher and definitely a little bit more of a draw there. All right, now the next thing that we can do, okay, to help promote that draw a little bit is in how we kind of angle the body. We know this, if you see the golf ball curved to the right, if you're a right-handed golfer and you're relatively intelligent, <laughs> you're gonna start aiming left, okay? But what happens is, is that the more you shift your aim left, the more the swing wants to work out and across the golf ball. So believe it or not, okay, you wanna actually do the opposite. You wanna slightly close your stance. So here we go, so I'm set in there, and if this is my target line, I'm gonna actually close my stance a little bit. So my lead foot is a little bit more forward. I'm gonna point the toe a little bit. So my toe line is slightly to the right of the target line, okay? Now I combine that with my lead arm a little higher. Now I've got a stance that promotes in to out. I've got an arm position that promotes in to out. Let me go ahead and set up here, see the difference there? Let's hit a shot. Ooh, best one of the day right there. More power more speed, nice high draw. Now these concepts, put a whole program around this, it's called Tour Draw, built a whole program around this. For those of people who slice the golf ball, I'm like, I told my friend Nick, I'm like, hey, we gotta put a program together that helps people quit slicing the golf ball because I saw it so much, we call it Tour Draw. And a lot of these same concepts are also, for our older golfers, in our program we call the Vertical Line Swing System. That's got a lot of these same concepts in there. So, all right. We got the arms. Yeah, real quick while you're talking about that, should your feet, when they're aimed close, should your aim also be with that or should it be square to your target? Oh, good question. Okay, so we get this a lot. That's my man Nick behind the camera there. He's bringing in the gold nuggets. He's bringing in the gold nuggets with the questions because he knows what you out there like to hear about. That's why you leave comments because Nick reads all those things. So we get a lot of golfers ask that. You say, okay, so you aim your feet a little bit to the right, but what about the club face? The club face has to be square to the target line. Let me repeat that. The club face is square to the target line, but the feet are slightly close. So when I'm set in there, and this is my target line, the club face is square to my target line, but my feet are slightly closed. So in actuality, the club face, yes, is a little closed relative to my feet. So slight aim to the right, club face, square to the target line, lead arm high, shot, Ooh, even better than the last one, see? 
That's why we got Nick there, because he reminded me of that, because he knew you were going to ask that. Thank you for that, my man. Now, let's keep moving along. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to hear from Nick on these things, you got to subscribe to you got to subscribe to the channel. Leave some comments. We love hearing from you, and ring that bell so you know when we get a new video coming out, which is happening out two, three times a week. It's crazy. All right, what's another swing tip you could do? Well, let's talk about the handle. Okay, in the handle, when you finish, a lot of golfers who slice to the right for right hand golfer, what do they do? You're smart. You're a smart person. You start feeling like you need to swing the club more to the left, so the handle works low and it works left and around. So it's in, low, left and around. What I want you to feel is the actually the opposite. I want you to feel like the handle works up and high. Let me show you the difference. Here's the old. Low around. Here's the new. High handle. Okay. I handle. It's one of the cornerstones, one of the cornerstone concepts in the Tour Draw program. Here we go. Let's tie this together. And then I'm going to give you one more tip here that I promised you about the angle of the handle. So set in, stand slightly closed, club face square of the target line. Okay, pretty simple. Lead arm high, trail arm low. One swing thought, high handle. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Not only did I get it to draw, but I got some height to it. That's how simple and easy this concept is. All right, now last thing I promised you I'd tell you here, and that's about this handle. So remember how I told you I want the lead arm a little higher and the trail arm a little lower? I also want you, when you're set in there, I want you to feel like the handle's up a little bit, because that'll make that easier, and also slightly forward. So look at this from face on. A lot of people who slice, you're like this, see that? See how the shaft angle's back? I want it slightly forward. I want it slightly higher. I want the trail arm under. I want the stance slightly closed. And you are locked and loaded, my friends, for a high handle tour draw finish. Here we go. Oh, yeah, love it. No need to slice the golf ball. Quit thinking that you can fix it by aiming left. Do these concepts right here, and once and for all, you'll eliminate the slice.